All right, hey guys, we're inside here in the kitchen. Got the pizza ready here. This is homemade dough, rosemary pizza crust. I've got the ingredients here. We're doing a little pepperoni, cheese, onion. And I want to show you this. I put this pizza on the peel and I made it up on there. I put some cornmeal, a little bit of flour on the bottom. That's so when you slip this thing off, it comes off in the oven. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it cook a little bit on the peel, and you'll see that as we walk outside. I'm going to take this one here uh, with me so I can help pry it off, but I'm going to let it cook on this peel for a little bit just to get bubbly, and then I'll push it off. You want to kind of, you know, you don't want to take any chance of losing the whole thing. So uh, I'm going to have my assistant follow me out. I'm going to open the door. She's going to open the door real quick. Carrying the peeps out. This is treacherous. But here we go. So here we go. We've got the pizza. I'm just going to go ahead and put it in. Just let it sit in there a little bit. And we'll move this bucket out of the way. So what I'm going to do is let that thing it's hot in there. I'm going to go ahead and let it kind of pucker up a little bit. You can see it, the dough starting to rise on the sides pretty quick. So I do this and cook it on the pill. If I try to take it off right now, I found that again it slips off and sometimes the pizza sticks. That's why I have this thing. So I'm going to let it cook a little bit on the on the pill. This is a pizza pill. It's also a pizza pill. It's bigger. I'm going to let it kind of get, get a little bit uh, the crust a little bit hard, you know, and then uh, and then we'll let it off. Uh, the key to this is once you get it on the floor, right now I can turn it, but what you want to do is when you get it on the cooking surface, uh, you can use this. I, I highly recommend using this. If you get these sides here, it'll brand you, it'll, it'll tattoo you. Uh, this metal up here. It's 590 degrees, I, that hurts you. So, but anyway, I'm letting it kind of get going, kind of get in the oven there. It's very hot in there. Like I said, between 600 on the floor and 900, almost a thousand degrees on the top. It doesn't take long. We put this on, what, a minute ago? So we'll see how long, but I'm gonna let it kind of get going. I'm just making sure there's no sticky areas. I'm getting ready to take this thing and put it right on the floor. Sometimes I bring it out. It's just trial and error. It just seems to work better this way. There we go. Now I've broken it loose, but I'm going to let it cook a little bit longer. Like I said, the cornmeal on the peel and the, uh, the, uh, the flour kind of helps it come off. So do some fast cooking now. There you go. So you'll notice that pizza's starting to rise on the sides. That's my homemade rosemary dough. And, all, and that's hot in there, so you got to really watch it. Um, I'm going to put this right there for now, but what you have to do is you have to slowly kind of keep turning this thing. It takes a little practice and all. You don't want it to sit too long because it will burn. It's cooking on, see that right there? You'll start to see it here in a minute. doesn't take long. I could technically use this if I want to, but it's hot in there. You see how long it took, what, a minute maybe to, to get that? And it's, again, the floor is 500 some degrees, so it's baking on the bottom. That's what you want. You don't want, you know, you don't want it to be a cool bottom. And that, that thing will hold heat, probably, the floor will hold heat for hours. Tomorrow it'll still, still be about 250 degrees in the morning. See, I'm, I'm spinning it again, just trying to get it, you know, 
a lot of these pizza cookers have a rotation, rotationary, I guess rotisserie type thing or kind of rotating um, floor. But uh, you have to do that here. But you see how it's getting real good rise on the bread. And that was one of those, uh, that's a, let's see, that's a eight hour dough that I did. You can freeze it and then you let it, uh, not freeze it, but you refrigerate it. And then what you do is you, um, you take it out about 30 minutes prior, let it get room temperature. It's not going to get room temperature, but what happens is if you don't do that, it will get, um, if you don't do that, it will get, uh, if it's, if it's real cold, it just doesn't, doesn't, uh, can't press it out as well. So you got to let it sit for about 30 minutes room temperature and then you can more malleable, I guess you could say. But that's it. We're getting ready to take it up. I'll cut it here and we'll enjoy the pizza. That's pretty much it. Uh, we've been here, what, five minutes? Probably about six to seven minutes to cook the pizza. And uh, I'm getting ready to take it up. You can see under the bottom there, nice and brown right here. So that's all I got. Enjoy the pizza. We're going to. And uh, so this is a five-part series. I think this is number five. So I'll put them all together. Uh, we're getting ready to move. I'm going to miss this oven. I'm going to miss the place. I'll build another one. Take care. We'll see you next time.